couldn't do right for doing wrong. It was supposed to be a nice day out, and Amy ended up hating me more than ever. Well, it's said hold it all on. That's all very well. But I have to make this work. Right. Well, there's no point appealing to a good side. She hasn't got one. Just no, ignore no, her. that's fine. OK, I'll see you later. Hiya. Hello. I have two coffees, please. All right. That was Robbie. Oh. Mm. He's coming over later. Well, you're lucky Megan's in London then, aren't you? You know she'd go mad death then. And what did he say? He wants a favour. Right, back, you no know, way, uh, back off. You no, know, it's not torturing your uncle, Dick. Yeah, that's our job. He can't catch it. He's already had it. Right, well, as it happens, it's not impossible for people to get chicken pox more than once, you know. <sighs> See, another reason not to have kids. Oh, Always infecting you with something. Hey, right, guess who's popped by again? But Dad, you sure you want to risk it? He's got chicken pox. That's all right, I had it years ago. Yeah, but as I was just saying, it's not impossible. I'll risk it. Coffee'd be nice. Small matter of a factory to run. See you later. Right, you. You still haven't brushed your teeth, have you? Come on. Right, I'm going to give his mum a call. Let her know that he's OK. Where is she, anyway? Early meeting. Hence me being on childminding duty today. <sighs> so, coffee? Take a seat. So, is this a regular thing, Jay looking after Noah? He's not ill all the time. No. I know, but, um... You mean, is your big macho firstborn now well and truly under the thumb? Is he? I know how that feels. All right, anyone fancy a quick brew? Oh, yeah, go on, you've twisted me out. Sorry, sweet, about half short and Belle. Not half as sorry as Belle is, believe me. Oh, what's happened? Oh, they're split up over this ruby thing, haven't they? Are you happy now? Like it's my fault. You backed him up when he started telling these stories. You could have stopped this any time. Well, that's the trouble, though, love. You, c you can't say a kid's lying when they say something like that, can you? Not these days. At last, someone understands where I'm coming from. Well, Belle reckons that Sean's pretty much made it all up. Yeah, we're not kids, I'll like say, anything. You don't believe that any more than me. Who says? Dan, you might be a lot of things, but you're not that stupid. For sake, here we go again. I might be stupid, but I'm not the one who broke up a family, am I? Oh, this is all about punishing me, innit? it? Well, it's not gonna work. All right, hey, that's enough. Well, you better get used to not loving me with your kids then, aren't you? Hey, hey, I said that's enough! My office, the pair of you. Now. Oh, thanks, Dad. Can't believe how much change I've got through this week. Uh, pay you back later. Yeah, no hurry. Any money? Now you're really scaring me. Got things on my mind. Like? Oh, account, supplies. What's the most tactful way of ending a relationship? What? What, Brenda? Mm. Decided to bring the curtain down on our arrangement. Are you hearing this? Why is it supposed to be a secret? You realise he's doing it because of you. I'll make a start on those rooms. Yeah, go on. You run off like you've always done. I can't believe she's making you do this. No one is making me do anything. It had to end sometime. Oh, right, so you're telling me you'd be chucking Brenda if she wasn't kicking off? This is crazy, Dad. I know you care about her. But whether I care about her or not is immaterial. Amy has to come first. Right now, I'd happily give one of you the elbow just to keep the peace, and I don't care which it is. Although you were on thin ice before this morning. Look, I need this job. We'll work on it, I promise. I don't want you to work on it. I want it to stop happening. It's my fault, I started it. Well, then maybe you should be moving on. Can I have a word? In private. What for? Yeah, what for? Please. You want me to go after you've spoken, then? Oh, OK, I'll go. What are you going to do? Tell him I'm an axe murderer on the quiet? No, I'm going to sort it. Trust me. Trust you. All right. Well, if you start slagging you off, I'll call you back in. Go on. I don't want to hear another word out of you today. Well? Look, 
Level with me, Dan. Did you take this job to get back at her? No. Look, uh, I'm uh, a passionate man, Mr. Sharma. You understand that, right? And if I did? I don't know, I shouldn't let her get to me, but... You've got to understand what we had together. It was a very intense relationship, and I'm not just talking about the sex. Oh, let me tell you, <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> but uh, that's not what we're talking about here. No? No. no. It's what we've lost as a family. That's what we keep kicking off. Yeah, right, OK. And I know um, I shouldn't bring it into work, is what I want to say, and <sighs> I'm sorry. Look, I appreciate it's, it's difficult, but you've got to rein it in. You just put both your livelihoods on the line. You lose your jobs. What happens to your kids then? Go on. Here we are. Hello again. Hi. So, do you want a coffee? A beer? Beer. Be great, thanks. Megan's not going to spring out from anywhere, is she? <laughs> She's in London. So, prodigal son returns having stormed out before on me. Now he wants a favour. Could this be any more awkward? Well, that depends on what the favour is. Yeah. How about we have these first, eh? Cheers. That's £9.60, please. Thanks. Thank you. I'll bring it over when it's ready. Oh, if I were 20 years younger. <laughs> you know what, Dad? I really don't think that you're her type. I like a challenge. I'll tell Mum that, shall I? I'd rather you didn't. Actually, what I'd rather you told her was when no I can expect a little brother or sister. Right, honestly, Dad, I can really do without Mum getting involved in that as well. OK, I'm guessing you and Charity have not had that conversation. Yeah, and? Well, Charity doesn't want any more kids. I see. How's that sit with you? Oh. Well, that's what she wants. I didn't ask about her. Well, obviously, I'm gutted, all right? I'll give it time. Charity and Noah have been a team for a while. She wouldn't want him to feel pushed out. Maybe. So did Ali say anything after? No one did. I don't mean to sound hard-faced, but... It's getting to be non-stop, is this? You all right? Can I uh, get you a warm up? Uh, no, thanks. Jenna? No, I'm fine, thanks. OK. What's up with them? All kicked off again, didn't it, this morning? We're down. Again? Yep. Not making it a happy workplace, if you know what I mean. Oh, you've got some flaming nerve, you have. Just start. Uh, stay for Sani. Don't want any trouble. No? Oh, well, I've got news for you, mate. You've made yourself a whole heap of it. Hey, I've done that. Yeah, neither have I. So, we'll both be happy if we get the police in, yeah? What? You heard me. Let's get this over with. It's a serious charge. So how about one of us call the police and get this sorted? Make it official. I'll do it if you want. Still can't get over this house. Oh, it's not much, but it's home. Not much? Right now, if it's got four walls and a roof, it'll do for me. I heard you had a bit of trouble with your landlord. Yeah, I did a bit. And have you learned something from that experience? Don't sleep with your landlord's girlfriend, for one. So I'm keeping on floors till I can get the cash together for a deposit. Won't be for long. Got somewhere lined up as it happens. OK. So, how much do you need? Now, now, Uncle Declan. Let's get to know each other properly before the checkbook comes out, eh? But I'm presuming that's why you wanted to see me. You don't need to be shy about it. The money's sorted. All I've got to do is get someone upstanding and not skint to guarantee the loan. And that would be me? Good question. So, if you use your toilet? Yeah. Upstairs. Cheers. Bit quick off the mark, then, weren't you? 
I thought it was about time we laid our cards on the table. And you trust him? I hardly know him. But I've been the one pushing for this. So I can hardly back off when he does the same, can I? Well, you can't move without him clearing up after you. Are you seriously complaining that your brother's too tidy? Well, I'm betting Jim is the opposite. Well, yeah, he was before Nicola came along. I used to have to pick up after him all the time. Socks, dirty underwear. Ew! Mm. <laughs> Hi. Vodka and tonic, please. I thought you were in London. Yeah, I got a call cancelling just before the train pulled into Grantham. Oh, waste of a day. Hmm, looks like it. I mean, I could go back into work and try and salvage what's left of it. Yeah, you could. And you could finish your sentence. Well, I was just thinking I'm not that busy. I could quite easily make myself free for the rest of the afternoon. Oh. I see. Well, it'd have to be worth it. Oh, I think we both know it'd be worth it. Well, then, can I make a suggestion? Yes, you can. I suggest we have a drink and then go somewhere and decide how best to use the time. Well, it's like you read my mind. Your place or mine. <laughs> We'll be all right for the weekend, but uh, you might want to organise a trip to the cash and carry sooner rather than later. Right. Thank you. Supplies being law. Yes. And gather what you were talking about. Oh, you know me. <laughs> Just making sure that I'm, well, being useful to you. Yet yeah, being useful to you, I mean. Because <laughs> that's all I want, really. Look. I think we need to have a chat, don't you? Well, if it's about yesterday, I'm sorry. No. The thing is, we've had a good run. Are you taking me for dinner? What? You said if I clean those rooms, you take to the calf. Amy, I'm in the middle of something. Can't I wait? I don't know about you, but I'm starving. No, it's OK. You go. I'll look after things here. Right. We're going to have some lunch then, shall we? So, running a stables, what's that like? Not much I can compare it to, really. All early mornings and mucking out, I'm guessing. Can't imagine I'd take to it. We get used to that. Yeah. And there'd be the plus side, I suppose. Lots of nice lasses like yourself in Jodpers, that sort of thing. I wouldn't know. Maybe I'll let you show me the rope sometime. Here we go. Cheers. This loan. You wouldn't happen to have the paperwork handy, would you? Right now, I just need you to check it's kosher. You don't have to decide. And if it doesn't work out, what will you do then? Keep on a few more floors till something does. I'll be okay. Well, it seems pretty standard. Declan, what are you doing? What does it look like? Now, if this goes pear shaped, you have to give me a call. I'm sure we can work something out. Look, I I'm agreeing with you. Really? Sounds like you're fighting Dan's corner to me. No, no, I'm saying he's been an idiot, but he's had his heart broken. And what about Ali? All the trouble she went through to get the kids here, and now Dan's taking them away. He's not the only one who's heartbroken. I mean, look, bottom line, of course I don't want to get the police, but I do want this sorted, so something's got to happen. <laughs> it was an act. Well, you really think I'm that keen to sit in here with you on me break? So? What? You were trying to stop me from spending time with Brenda. Because I was just about to you tell You shouldn't. Her. Finish with her. What's brought on this U-turn? Well, if you did, you'd be miserable. And then I'd be miserable. And then imagine what little rays of sunshine may be for the customers. Right. For the customers. Well, what else? 
Look, she makes you happy. Who am I to stand in the way? Well, if Brenda and I are to stay together, you will have to make a massive effort to get on with her. Blame me, you want your cake and eat it, don't you? Well? Ah, I was reading that. Hey! Make yourself scarce. I need a word with your brother. What have I done now? Ruby's so can I get in the cops in. So? So? Are you okay about that? It's up to her. You know what'll happen. You're old enough and you're not as daft as you look. It'll be them social services, all sorts. Real be arrested, the works. Now, oh, your mum will never forgive either of us. You okay with that? Ruby's the one calling them. What's it to me? Sean, if she did what you said. She didn't do anything all right. Made up, aren't you? Mm, not really. Mainly because I know she flaming well didn't. Why have you been giving me such a hard time? I don't know. Mainly because you've been lying all this time. You wanted me to. I didn't. <sighs> well, I shouldn't have, should I? How does this all come about, eh, son? I have really cocked things up. I didn't think it was going to blow up like this. <sighs> you and me both, eh, kid? Dad, what are we going to do? I thought you two had left. We had. Yes, it's amazing what Nicholas screaming for Calamine and two noisy kids can do for romance. So I guess it's the same again then? I guess it is. Pint and vodka tonic, please. Uh, actually, cancel that. I better get off. It's dangerous leaving Declan on his own too long. Listen, I'm sorry about before. I forgot how chaotic it is at home. You can make it up to me soon. We shouldn't stay much longer. Well, I suppose one of us should make a move and start prepping for this evening. Why don't you stay here? Me and Brenda can go over and make a start. Come in. Me? Hey. There's nobody else here called Brenda. No, I suppose not. Well, they weren't getting on. They weren't. Hmm. Must have buried the hatchet. Oh, I trust Amy with a pair of scissors, let alone a hatchet. Jenny? Yep. You all right? Yeah, just a bit of a headache. So how did you bring her round? I didn't. Seems she's done it all by herself. Mm. You're back on, then, you and Bren. Ah, for as long as it lasts, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit weird, that's all. It was creeping me out. Well, he's probably a bit nervous. Look, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but you are sort of good-looking. <sighs> Thanks. Anyway, so is it, is it me that has to trust him, is it? Well, it's not like he asked me for the money. He's a good kid. You hope? Call it a gut feeling. Well, either way, you have to tell Megan. Do I? Yet? You can't sit on this now, Declan. I know you said you were going to wait, but he's gone too far. And after everything she said... You've seen him three times. And he's even been here. She could have walked in any minute. And now you're guaranteeing... You have to tell her. How was London? Cancelled. Well, postponed. Really? These things happen. Anything interesting going on here? Answers, obviously, are yes. So? I, um, we met with Robbie. Mum! <gasps> What's this? Oh. I've, uh, brought him home. Can I watch telly? Yeah, of course you can. Hang on, how come? Well, Ruby didn't do what I said. Why me? I didn't. Who'd have thought? I'll bring the stuff over later. I've given them tea. Uh, hang on. Is that all you've got to say? No apology after everything you've put us through? Hey, don't start. We're back now, aren't we? Look, leave it for now. No, I won't flame and leave it. You, know, you, you be like this. Right, now that's sorted. Are you off? Oh, we were going to ask him for a cuppa. 
All right, I wasn't expecting flowers, but thank you. He's pushing it. I just do one. I can't believe he's back down. Me either. Yeah, I'd be surprised what threatening to ring 999 will do. Yeah, but meanwhile, what are you going to do about Sean? I know what I'd like to do. Let's just get him settled in, eh? Look, he's not getting away with it. That boy will apologise. Look, I know how angry you are. You have no idea. How could you? Because I thought if I could just speak to him... Even though I asked you. I told you I specifically. Know, I know, And I but... suppose you know about this. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, right. From the off or just from his little visit? Look, don't blame Katie. I don't blame Katie. I blame you. I told you to leave it. It's plain how Robbie feels about me. Not necessarily. I think he's coming round. Oh, how heartwarming. That's great. What next? I suppose you've offered him a home here. No. What? Well, look, he, he's on his uppers, you know. I just told him if he needs any help, then I'll be there for him. I mean, why not his family? You arrogant little... <gasps> Megan! Declan, just leave look, her. I Declan, can't... leave her! <sighs> The thing is, Mr. Renton, we don't know that she did kill herself. And if it is murder, I'll be after you and your website as an accomplice. Tell your Silicon Valley pals that. I guess he's not a fan, then. With more brand new Lewis tonight at 8, right after we pay tribute to the unforgettable Dudley Moore next. <laughs> 